slide out. We love it. We hate it. And I'm going to tell you how we've learned to live with it in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back, everyone. My name's Patrick, and I am so glad you stopped by today. Now, we love RVing, and honestly, it provides us independence and freedom to get out and explore the country, but let's be honest, there's times RVing can be just a little frustrating, and that's why we started Travels with Delaney over five years ago, to try to share some of our 17 years of RV experience with you, to try to help you have a more enjoyable time. Now, the truth is there are times we love our slide out and there are times we absolutely hate our slide out. But today what I wanna do with you is share some of the techniques we use to try to live with our slide out because when it's working, it's wonderful. Now, if you own an RV with a Schwintech slide out system, one of the very first things hopefully your dealer told you was when you go to bring your slide out in or put your slide out out, we want to make sure we hold the button and we take that slide out all the way out or all the way in. Don't be stopping halfway in. This system is not designed for that and it can cause problems for you down the road. So tip number one is we always bring the slide out all the way in or we put the slide out all the way out. Tip number two is once we're done putting that slide out out or bringing it in, we're gonna hold this button for an additional three to five seconds. So what I typically do is once I hear it stop, I just start counting one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000. Now you should actually hear the motors both shut off. And what that does is it helps to keep those motors synced up. Now, if you believe that your motors are out of sync on your Schwintech, and there's actually two motors, one on on one side and one on the other side, those are both located at the top of your slide up, then you can try resyncing the motor yourself. And this is actually a really easy process. All we need to do is go ahead and begin bringing the slide out in about six to eight inches and then stop. And then we're gonna reverse it and send it all the way back out again, holding that button for at least three to five seconds. Then we're going to do it a second time, bringing it in approximately six to eight inches, stop, send it back out, hold the button for three to five seconds. And we wanna do this at least three times. And hopefully then that's going to resync your two motors to make sure everything is working properly. Now, one of the signs that maybe you need to resync your motors is if one side of your slide out is against the wall where the seal is tight and the other side is not completely against the wall, then it may be off just enough that we need to resync it and we can solve that issue. Now, in addition to following basic operating procedures with your Schwintech slide out, out to help keep it working properly, we can also do some simple maintenance. And these are things that I do. And a lot of what I'm telling you, I was actually told by a representative at Lippert when we actually had our trailer in two years ago to get the slide out repaired. Now, one of the things is this is a track system. And so one of the basic things we wanna do is make sure we keep these grooves clean. Now, what they told me was we don't need to lubricate those little grooves that are up and down, but they did suggest that we take a brush every so often, soft bristle, and just kind of gently clean them to keep debris out. Now, we live back here in a lot of tall pines pine trees, which means we get pine needles and they can be the enemy of your Schwintech system. So I just go along and gently scrub to make sure with my little brush and a toothbrush actually works just perfect for this. And I just make sure those are good and clean. And that's really the first step. And you're going to have four of those. We're going to have a bottom track and a top track on both sides. Now, the next thing that I do on a regular basis is I lubricate my Schwintech system. Now I use this CRC Power Lube high performance lubricant with PTFE you can pick this up on Amazon. This was actually the product that Lippert recommended to me. They use this mainly because it will not attract dirt and dust and grime and things like that, but yet will keep your Schwintech working well. Now, the first place they recommend that I lubricate our Schwintech is in this channel right here along the top. Now, again, we don't need to do these up and down grooves, just they said this top channel, and we're gonna do that on the bottom and the top of each slide. Now, I like to use use the little straw that is included. You just insert this into the sprayer for your lubricant. And then this little straw can direct it right into that channel. 
and I just give it a light spray coming across. I do that in all four areas. Now for the next areas that I'm going to be using my lubricant, I like to go ahead and just kind of bend my straw around. These are flexible enough. You can kind of put a little curvature on them and that's going to help us get into some tight places. Now we're going to go ahead and lubricate behind the seal on both sides, top and bottom. You could bring your slide out in and do this on the inside. Unfortunately, the way our slide out is installed on the far side, there's just no room to get back there to work. So I always end up doing this outside. I just get a step ladder so I can also do this on the top. Now we want to go ahead and do basically on the top of this track and right below this track. Now when you pull back these seals and look up under here, you'll actually be able to see on the bottom of each of these tracks a little wheel. We actually want to use our straw bent up a little bit, reach back there, and we're actually going to grease that bearing inside that little wheel so that it rolls smoothly. We also up top here on this bottom one, I want to just pull this back and you can kind of see back in there, there is a part that if you don't lubricate it, that's when it really starts to creak going in and out just by simply lubricating this, that's gonna help with it. I'm gonna repeat this step up top, which is where the motor is. We're gonna do both the top and the bottom of this, and then we're gonna do the other side. Once I've done lubricating all the areas, I'm just going to run the slide out in and out a couple times just to kind of help get that lubrication worked into the parts. The next thing I like to do is use this three in one rubber seal conditioner. Now there's a couple seals that you'll see all around your slide out. The first one is kind of this, this bubble style. You can kind of squish on it, fill it. There's a hollow center. And then there's the flap style. It's going to help keep moisture and debris out when your slide out goes in and comes out. Now it's real simple to use this. The can comes like this. You can either spray out direct or they have this cool little flip up with your straw on it. And what that does is again, it helps you to direct where it's going. Going. All I like to do is just spray some on, just like that, and then I just take a towel and just kind of rub it in, and that is going to help keep our rubber seals from drying out and cracking. When they become brittle, you get cracks, and when you get cracks, that's when we could have potential for water or debris getting in, causing problems. I'm gonna do this with all of our seals all the way around our slide out. Our slide out's unique in the sense that it sits about 12 inches above the floor. So when the slide out's in, all of this weight is just free floating, going down the road, which could cause problems. I chose to buy these Camco stair supports. I have one on each side of the slide out. I just simply place them up under the slide out, tighten them up, and that helps to support the slide out going down the road, taking some of the stress off of all the screws that are holding the slide out in on the outside of the wall. Now I mentioned we had to take our RV over to the Lippert Service Center in Goshen, Indiana because we were having issues to where our slide out just would not go out. And this occurred within just a few months of buying our RV new. Now you might be wondering, was it something we did that caused the problem? And the answer is no. Actually, when Lippert started working on it, they found out that the slide had been installed incorrectly. Lippert actually has a tolerance for both sides for their Schwintec unit. And unfortunately, ours was just a little out of tolerance on one side that eventually had the slide out binding up and bending the entire Schwintec drive unit. So Schwintec covered it under warranty, went ahead and replaced the entire unit, recentered it, and we have had no issues since then. Now, I didn't really understand what the Schwintec was or how it worked until I saw a video that demonstrated exactly what these components are and actually broken down piece by piece to have a better understanding. I think you will benefit from watching that video as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the link to that video from my RV works right up here so you can find out what your Schwintec system actually is. Until next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Good night.